Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. e to the x is greater than zero for all real numbers x. Now, first of all, let's remind ourselves what e to the x is. The limit of one plus x over n to the power of n is equal to e to the x for all real numbers x. And we are going to use the following preliminary result in our proof. e to the x times e to the y is equal to e to the x plus y for all real numbers x and y. And so this result is essentially going to do all the heavy lifting for us. So now let's get into proving this theorem. Start with the proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number x. From here, we want to show that e to the x is greater than zero. Now, the first thing to notice is the following. We can re-express x as x over 2 plus x over 2. But that's just e to the x over 2 times e to the x over 2. And this is just e to the x over 2 squared. And we know that any real number squared is greater than or equal to 0. So this is greater than or equal to 0. So e to the x is greater than or equal to 0. So we've shown that e to the x is greater than or equal to 0. But we want to show that e to the x is strictly greater than 0. So how do we do that? We have to show that e to the x is not equal to 0. So the next thing to notice is the following. If we do e to the x times e to the negative x, we know that this is just e to the x plus negative x. And x plus negative x is 0. So we have e to the 0. But we know that e to the 0 is just equal to 1. Right? Why is e to the 0 equal to 1? Well, if we go to our first fact, e to the 0 is really just the limit of the sequence 1 plus 0 over n to the power of n. But remember, 1 plus 0 over n to the power of n is just a constant sequence of 1s. So of course it converges to 1. Right? That's why e to the 0 is equal to 1. So, because e to the x times e to the negative x is equal to 1, e to the x can't be equal to 0. Right? If e to the x was 0, we would have 0 times e to the negative x equals to 1, but 0 times e to the negative x also equals 0. So we would have 0 equals 1. Right? So that's not possible. So we see that e to the x is greater than or equal to 0, but e to the x is not equal to 0. Right? So that means e to the x must be strictly greater than 0. And so we have shown that e to the x is greater than 0, for any real number x. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so what this tells us is, if we consider the exponential function over the domain of real numbers, well, the domain is real numbers, but each real number gets mapped to a positive real number, right? Because for every real number x, e to the x is greater than zero. So. We know this so far about the exponential function over the domain of real numbers. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.